today's workout. Abs, legs, primarily hamstring. Then we're gonna set up a full upper body circuit. Probably four, uh, four exercises, probably all barbell stuff. We'll see. Um, and that's gonna be it. So that's where we're gonna get our cardio. And I think we're gonna grab some food afterwards too. What is going on guys? Welcome to the next episode in this summer cutting series that I've been doing. This is episode 9 and I'm super excited about the progress that I've been making. Unfortunately the, the uh, footage that you're seeing here was shot probably three weeks ago, maybe even four weeks ago. And um, the reason for that is I've just got a lot of footage and I am not doing a very good job of getting up enough videos to where I can stay current and where I'm at in my process. So, and obviously it is time sensitive given that I am training up for a show and I want to be able to release the show footage and you know, the, the week, the, you know, peak week and all of that leading up to it while I'm going through it. So. Just trying to play catch up with that and because of that this is going to be another full just workout video there's no really vlogging other than what you're going to be seeing here in the gym on this lift we did abs and legs I'm focusing on all aspects of the abs and just really annihilating it right here i'm doing a crazy drop set like i had introduced this was just to get myself warm and ready to go get you know get my my muscles starting to, to wake up and start to hurt a little bit early and get get me mentally uh focus for what lies ahead which you will see over the next 12 minutes or so that's left in this video so hope you guys enjoy it stick along stay with me on the instagram facebook and on my website i've obviously got it all posted right there at the bottom of the screen and uh yeah guys enjoy the workout hope uh, you enjoy it and i'll see you then i think that was like 40 reps maybe a little less, 35 or 40. Three drops. Come on, buddy. Up. Come on. Evan, what was the purpose of that one-handed cable cross? Such an experiment. It was a lot more difficult than I thought. But, just one hand at a time. I could feel it on basically whatever side I was holding. Felt it more on that side of the abs. It was targeting more into the obliques a little bit more than both hands together. So, got 12 reps per side, 110 pounds. So. I'm happy with that, and we'll go back to double arm for a set after this. I haven't done these in a minute.
Come on. There you go. Good job. Come on, get over here on these oblique. Come on. You got this. Pick up the sock. There you go. Come on. Come on. You still got legs to do, mate. You over here complaining. <laughs> One thing that you notice while I'm doing this, see my lower back? See how I have it up against the backrest the whole time? I can't fit my hands behind it. Watch, this is how most people do it. They arch their back big time. Now if you're forcing some reps, that might, might be a technique you'll use a little bit. But uh, especially with seated hamstring curls, you're usually not gonna go crazy heavy unless you're trying to seriously grow them for your bodybuilder level. For me, I just maintain my hamstring strength and slowly build it over time, especially right now while I'm cutting. So I've got 65 pounds on here, just focused on keeping my lower back down there because at this position right here with my leg being stretched out like this, tension's on my hamstring. With my back here, it's putting more tension there. As soon as I arch like this, it's relieving some of the tension off the back of my leg. And so that's why I focus on pressing my belly button back as I curl and as I come up. Focusing on the negative more so than anything else. That's that. Get all of me just like here up somewhere. Just get my thing in it. I'm already going. Is it recording? Yeah. Okay, so we're at the end of our workout. Time to get some cardio in. We're gonna do it with a weighted circuit. We've got three exercises. This is something you guys can do um, if you want to pull this up on your YouTube app on your phone and take this into the gym. 
feel free to go right along with it. But what we've got, three exercises, 10 reps per exercise, five rounds, okay? So it's a total of 50 reps per exercise. We're looking at 150 reps by the end of the circuit. It is as fast as you possibly can go is what we're looking for, okay? First exercise, upright rows, barbell upright rows. You can either go wide or you can go narrow. I might alter back and forth between the two grips, focusing on different spots of the shoulder and the traps, okay? Then I'm gonna go straight into a bent over row. You can either be overhanded or underhanded grip based on whether you wanna work upper or lower lats, okay? And then we're gonna go into push-ups but keeping my hands on the bar so that it's nice and fluid. So we're starting up high, working our way down to, into a push-up and then right back up to the top as fast as we possibly can go. So the goal here isn't about overall strength. I've got 25s on each side, and admittedly, this barbell is only 35 pounds. It's not a, a full, full weighted 45 pound bar. So uh, keep that in mind. I'll alter it to uh, based on your goals if you're gonna try to replicate this workout. And uh, here we go. And super fast forward, here we go. This clip originally was like seven and a half minutes long, so I wanted to pare it down so that you could see every single rep. If I did my math right, there's about 150 reps happening in this short period of time. So, um, it, very exhausting, very exhausting. The upright row was probably the most difficult given the weight I had. The bent over rows, not so bad, but pretty tiring over time. And push-ups are always a pain in the butt, um, especially when you're pushing from a bar and uh, you know, just throwing it on repeat. This isn't a style of training that I do a ton of, and so I knew it would have a great effect on me, and that's why I wanted to do it. Five rounds equals 150 reps, and whew, it wore me out. Good job. Good job. Uh, now. So you really all right with five rounds? <laughs> I will say, you've got to, even if you have to take a break, you gotta keep moving as best you can. My form went to crap on some of that. I was experiencing my shoulder giving out. So, it's something regarding my muscle imbalance that I have. But, nonetheless, you can see how wiped out I am. See how quick you can do that. And, uh, Good luck.